Fender 1950 No Caster Canetto. Burnt in stamp, back to headstock, John Cruz made. I just got him playing a 58 Gibson with P90s. Now we gotta come down to Fenderville. <laughs> Telly Twang, Mr. Bull. You can't beat these Canettos with a like 10.1K broadcaster, no caster pickup, flat pulled, and the killer neck pickup. Sounds every bit of a Telly. Listen to this, baby. But uh, <laughs> I'm just going straight on with the chord. stamp all the case candy plastic still on the latches you can't be a John Cruz built Canetto you want a $80,000 1950 no caster 
I'll give up 80 grand. <laughs> Again, that's me playing in with just a chord. Not that I'm any better if I had any effects, which I own every effect known to man, but never use them. Don't ask me why I buy them. I need rehab just as much as you do. This here is at eddievegas.com. I just got to ride my bike most of the day. I'm like wind shocked. Uh, I rode like 100 miles today. In Minnesota, that's like a rare occasion with the weather. This I want to mention, it's a nice size neck. It's got unreal bird's eye. And I want to mention that uh, you can see the finish on this, all nitro, but this one here really shows the grain, you know, like a see-through blonde, no caster blonde. It's really blonde. My, my words, it's kind of a yellow color. It's got the nice uh, wear mark that Canetto's did in the black pick guard. This pick guard is as close to the real deal as you're going to ever get. It's light. I, I ain't kidding. This is one of the best. I had maybe 15 of these in my life. And, and this, this one might be the one. Eddie Vegas. have to be weird because it's me thanks for stopping by peoples